Hey folks, this is IOE Thurman. We're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Extreme Unicorn Warfare. Uh, and he is in this AMX 30B. This is a tier 10 game on Corellia. And it's not an assault or an encounter. Wow, right? Uh, if my voice sounds weird to you, that's because I'm cold. I Yes, I'm cold. That's exactly what I meant to say. I have a cold. Um, or the flu or some other deadly illness, I'm sure. Anyways, um, this is not beer or anything like that. It's, it's tea. It's cold tea. I like it a lot. It helps my throat quite a bit. Um, and without it, I wouldn't be able to talk. So, you know, I'm sorry if it's a little annoying as the video goes on, but it's the only one I'm going to talk through. So, yeah. Um, so he's running some coffee, so take some of these shots with a grain of salt um obviously the mist we're uh, we're not gonna attribute down to the coffee but uh some, th some of those other stuff maybe um ooh yes a nice shot as the E50M decided back up far enough that we could shoot him and then why why would you stick your back end out like that obviously it can get shot did he think that we wouldn't reload in time? Is that what was going through his mind? And then somehow the uh, the rest of his team apparently is like, he's getting shot. Charge! Obviously, if they can only shoot... Ooh, nice shot. If they can shoot him, they can't shoot the rest of us. Uh, this is going to be harder than he'd like to be. Um, probably should have just gone out after the LTTB there. Uh, shooting down into the gun... Like the face of the uh, the 252U was never really going to work. Again, that's another tank that was just backing up, waiting to get shot. Oh, yeah, thanks, 252. Give us that lower glacis. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, so, the thing is with this tank is it's really good for bouncing shots, except for those massive weakness to size your entire turret. Um, it is sitting right up there. The rest of the turret is liable to bounce anything and everything that comes at it. That thing, though, is going to bounce nothing. And since it is like the size of a city up on top of your your skull there, you're going to get shot in a lot. Oh, Batchat up in the open. He's electing to go after the grill. Bigger threat in the short term. Um, Batchat's a bigger threat in the long term, but the Batchat was also pulling out of cover, whereas this thing is a fat, juicy target right, right inside our grasp. Why not go for it? Um, Batchat 12T is going to be a little annoying, except he seems to be behind cover presently. Looks like he's going to walk out and try and kill our T92, which is bad for the T92 and even worse for the Batchat, who's about to try some dumb, get some shelf software. But unfortunately, either the T92 wasn't aiming on him, or he bounced maybe, or something else. Somehow, that Batchat makes it out of that encounter alive. Notice how Extreme is looking for the Scorpion. He knows he's got to be back there. Actually, there's probably a few tank destroyers back there lurking around. Oh, including that guy. Hello, Mr. Scorpion. Nice shot through the front of him. Make sure he doesn't get spotted. Bat chest behind the rock. That bat chest is not going to spot him. The Scorpion G on the move isn't going to spot him. So he really doesn't have too many things to worry about. Of course, if this bat chest decides to nose out in the wrong direction and does so behind cover, we might be in a different spot. Uh, having lost sight of the bat chest, got to be a little more careful. Um, if he can... Sneak into a bush that can see us, obviously not on this side, but maybe the other side. Then, um, he can get eyes on us if we fire. However, as there's no targets, started firing is unlikely. Also, note, our entire team up here lost. That means these guys are going to be pushing down here. That Scorpion G is going to find himself in a bad spot, and not very long at all. Either he's going to have guys on his flanks, or, oh, hello, Mr. Batchat. Yes, if you were wondering, we're still here. 
Oh, there's the guys on the scorpion's flanks. And there's the scorpion dying. Because he pushed up all by himself to a flank that he knew there were bad guys on. Upside is, there's the enemy scorpion, and now he's tracked. And one more shot, can we get him before he repairs? I think we can. Dead scorpion. Yeah, we'll take that. All day long, every day, right? Up to 5,000 damage, game's not over. Day's not done. Oh, he's rolling back towards the base. I don't think he's going to do it for long. There's really not going to be anything over there. Um, everything is going to be over towards the enemy side of the map still. Now it's possible he jumps down into the middle and starts pushing his way towards the enemy base. He could definitely do that. Uh, pretty easy to do. Might even gain him some stuff. But sitting up here on this hill isn't going to do anything anymore. Um, all the damage he can do from this hill has been accounted for, right? He's done it all or it's just not there anymore. Uh, in order to keep doing damage, he's going to have to figure it away and the press forward towards that. As he walks onto this Conway, it looks like he's going to contain being up on this hill. Um, I'm going to call this, um, I don't know if it's a mistake or really, but if you hang around on this hill for too long, you lose damage out. Now, uh, that Conway started backing up. I actually don't know why that Conway is backing up. There is no logical reason in my mind what, is why the Con Conway is doing what he's doing. Um, I would have actually think thought he would have held that ground and he'd be shooting into these guys as they're pushing across and chasing that patch hat down. But for some reason the Conway decided he'd need to be on the other side of the board in a spot where he can't possibly do anything. Um, which is why he decided to move. So if he'd been playing it as he should have been playing it, he wouldn't have moved and we never would have got the damage off of him. And uh, this ISM would have had cover. Why did this stupid thing he's doing right now? Batchat is pulling back into their base effectively. And he's going to start to negotiate from there. And now, finally, Extreme is doing what I was thinking what should have happened about a minute ago. Um, as he starts to push out towards the enemies. Now, at some point here, he's going to get shot if he's not very, very careful. There's definitely a Scorpion G in front of him. Uh, that being said, the Scorpion G cannot kill him with a single shot. So as long as he doesn't die from an Amorak or something like that, or an engine fire, because he doesn't have a a few, uh, fire extinguisher, right? Um, then he should be okay to return fire on the Scorpion. Whether or not he kills that Scorpion, different issue. I'm just going to take a second and re-wet the palette so I can continue talking without spontaneously starting to die. Ah, WZ or WT making his way back towards the base. Apparently one shot is not enough to warn him that he shouldn't be doing it. And it's going to take at least two. And now WT is safely behind the rock. However, he's missing another 800 health as... No, he's going to continue up the hill. This is not a smart move. But then, you know, you can't necessarily teach the enemy to do smart things. Then who would we shoot at, right? We're going to speed this up a tiny bit because... Oh, there's the scorpion. Oh, wow. Okay, the scorpion gets tracked. It misses us because it was tracked. And he fired clutch without being fully aimed. Nice shot into the scorpion. Unfortunately, not enough to kill it. That, though, will finish it off. As the WT fires up the hill at whatever he shot at. And doesn't do enough to kill him. But we finish him off. And that is the end of that. E-75 way over there. We're going to definitely speed up. As we run towards this guy, this guy's getting killed by a T-30. And will, in fact, get taken down by the T-30. And that will be game. Well done. That was a great game. 
And I can't wait to see what he made off this. Thank you so much, Extreme, for saying this in. And by the way, the other game you sent me will be next week. So yeah, st stick around for that, right? Next week. That would be a lot of fun, too. Ace Tanker, Spotter, Bruiser, Duelist. Well done, he managed to earn five bonds on this. High cover and tight tank sniper awards. You don't see this much anymore, though it used to be a lot more common um, back in the day. Well done overall. Um, <laughs> almost 7,500 damage, 1,300 experience. Well done, but not even a top gun. It's a little weird, but it happens sometimes when you're just pounding out the damage and not so concerned with the kills. Or your your team is more concerned with the kills, I should say. Uh, well done overall. I enjoyed this thoroughly. The fact that you made money. You made a ton of credits and all for this much work. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for sending this in. I can't wait to see your next one. That will be next Saturday, though. And I'll see you all then. This is IOE Fairhout. <laughs>